The topic that I'm going to be talking about today is deforestation. What is it, you ask? It is the permanent removal of a forest or patch of trees, which then are converted to land for homes, ranches, farming, and more. Today, most deforestation is happening in the tropics. A 2017 report by scientists at the University of Maryland showed that the tropics lost about 61,000 square miles of forest in 2017, an area the size of Bangladesh. Areas that we once weren't able to reach, but with new technology and newly built roads, we can. It has been a major issue for a long time and it's not getting better, only worse. Between 2010 and 2015, 14.3 million acres of forest per year was deforested worldwide. There are many different ways deforestation can occur. Among the many methods of deforestation, which include clear cutting, selective logging, slash and burn, and many more, the two primary, primary methods that are used today are clear cutting and selective logging. Clear cutting occurs when most or all of an entire area is taken down, while in selective logging, loggers only cut down the trees that are of use to them. With these methods come great detrimental effects to the environment, such as soil erosion, carbon dioxide emissions, habitat loss, and pollution. So why do people slash companies continue to do it? Forests and other carbon sequestering plant life are cleared or burned to provide land for less biodiverse commercial crops and animal agriculture. With the rising population, the agricultural land we have now will not suffice. In order to make sure we have enough resources, there is land all around the world being slashed and burned instead of protecting what is left. On top of that, our demand for dairy and meat products is incredibly profound, making it another enormous reason as to why forests are being burned and cut down. Even if the trees were to grow back, much of the beauty in wildlife would be far gone. There is so much wildlife that depend on forests to survive, whether it be for food or shelter. When clearing away forests, it is important to keep in mind that there are both people and wildlife that depend on it to survive. Unfortunately, not a lot of people think about the consequences of their accent, actions, especially when it comes to deforestation. Habitat loss poses a huge threat to all different kinds of species. Without forests, lots of species we know and love will eventually go extinct, along with the ones we have yet to discover, which would be such a tremendous loss. The removal of trees in the rainforest specifically would have detrimental effects. With nothing to provide shelter, the temperature will increase even more, much like a desert, which could be fatal for the animals currently inhabited there who aren't adapted to the harsh temperature. Speaking of wildlife, a big effect on their ecosystem is the production of palm oil. It's an oil from palm trees that is added in about half of all packaged foods across the world. To produce palm oil in large enough quantities to meet growing demand, farmers across Southeast Asia have been clearing huge swaths of biodiversity-rich tropical rainforests to make room for massive palm plantations, wreaking environmental destruction and destroying the habitats of a diverse amount of wildlife, which includes rhinoceros, gorillas, jaguars, toucans, spider monkeys, sloths, and many, many more. Today, palm oil production is the largest cause of deforestation in Indonesia and other equatorial countries with dwindling expanses of tropical rainforests. Indonesia's endangered orangutan population, which depends upon the rainforest, has dwindled by as much as 50% in recent years. These species that may already be critical endangered are being pushed toward extinction because of it. As a consequence, Indonesia, the world's largest producer of palm oil, temporarily surpassed the United States in terms of greenhouse gas emissions in 2015. With their CO2 and methane emissions, palm oil-based biofuels actually have three times the climate impact of traditional fossil fuels. Fossil fuels are not only used for food, but also for power, heat, and biofuel that is used in motor vehicles, which is a huge cause, cause of deforestation. 
oil palm plantations currently cover more than 27 million hectares of Earth's surface. Forests and human settlements have been destroyed and replaced by green deserts containing virtually no biodiversity on an area the size of New Zealand. Not only is the clearing of those trees detrimental to wildlife, but it also is for us. As I mentioned earlier, one of the effects deforestation has on the environment is carbon dioxide emissions. As many of you are aware, the rise of carbon dioxide emissions have been a problem for quite some time now. We are seeing the effects of it through climate change in many other ways. One way we can keep it at bay is through trees. By going through photosynthesis, they take in greenhouse gases, like carbon dioxide, and in return provide us with oxygen. When we destroy forests, we're getting rid of our best defense to consume all the greenhouse gases we humans emit. By, con by cutting down the trees alone, more carbon dioxide is emitted into the air. We're also creating emissions by cutting down trees. When trees are fallen, they release into the atmosphere all the carbon they've been storing. When the deforesters do with the fallen trees, either leaving them to rot on the forest floor or burning them creates further emissions. All told, deforestation on its own causes about 10% of worldwide emissions. All of the greenhouse gases we are emitting aren't good for our health in any way. More carbon dioxide in the air means less oxygen, making it harder and harder to breathe, leading to potentially serious health conditions in the future, which is why I hope we can stop it. There are many things we can do or be aware of that would help lower emissions worldwide. If there is one thing we can do to help, I believe that is pushing for protection of at least all the big forests and tropics. By doing that, they can replenish in their own time, along with all the animals that inhabit it. People should also learn sustainable farming practices or try new farming technologies so we don't need as much land to grow crops. Only planting trees won't be enough. Those complex ecosystems are going to need lots of time to develop so that wildlife comes back, water systems will reestablish, carbon will be sequestered, and soils will be replenished. For consumers specifically, we should think twice about what we buy. We should be buying more sustainably produced sources and using less products that are made from trees, like palm oil. However, given the amount of deforestation, completely stopping it anytime soon is not very realistic. It is possible, though. There are countries that have reduced the rate of deforestation in their country. For example, Paraguay reduced the rate of deforestation in their country by 85% in the years just following their enactment of 2004 Zero Deforestation Law. It may not happen soon, but I believe one day we will stop deforestation and find better ways to sustain our ever-growing population. It will take sacrifices from anyone, everyone, but it was definitely possible.